Let's go out to Jack Benny's house in Beverly Hills, where Jack is taking his violin lesson from his same old teacher, Professor LeBlanc. No, 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 Monsieur Benny, no. I I'm sorry, Professor. Perhaps you are not ready for that yet. Oh, oh but I am, Professor. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> Darn it, my, my finger slipped off. It should be your head. <laughs> what? Come, let us go back to the exercises. I'll count for you. Hello. One and two and three and four and... Play it gently, do not kick it. This would make Patrillo pick it. Play it smoother, not so jerky. This could make me lose my turkey. I wish I was someplace else. Please give me an Alka Seltzer. Hmm. What did I do wrong? You are gripping the violin too tight around the neck. Stop it. It gives me ideas. <laughs> oh, well, I'll try the first one again. Very well. Hello. <laughs> la, 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 la. Blink, 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 blink. La, 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 la. I think you stink. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Benny, please, please play something else. But, Professor, at the end of last week's lesson, you yourself suggested the Blue Daniel to jump into and not to play. <laughs> now, Professor, listen, I'm paying you good money to come here. Pardon me, boss, but you want on the phone. Okay. Now, don't, don't go away, Professor. My lesson still has two more minutes to go. <laughs> two more minutes. Two more minutes. What a man. He even stops the watch during the eight-bar rest. <laughs> Rochester, I would like to ask you a favor. A favor? What is it? My ankle hurts me. Will you please loosen this chain a little? <laughs> Professor, your ankles are exactly my size. How do you know? That's the same chain I wore the first five years I worked here. <laughs> what? I'm a trustee now. <laughs> I cannot understand, Mr. Benny, but then life is full of so many surprises. What do you mean, Professor? Well, I remember when I came to America 15 years ago. I was standing on the deck as the boat steamed into New York Harbor. Then I saw her, the Statue of Liberty, the gift that my country, Le Belle France, gave to your country, the glorious America. As I looked at the statue, a lump came into my throat. I realized what it stood for. Liberty, freedom. I reached out my arms and walked. I walked towards it. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I should have warned you, your chain is only five feet long. <laughs> Liberty, freedom. Okay, okay, Professor, let's finish the lesson. Rochester, go back in the kitchen and fix dinner. Yes, sir, should I set a plate for Professor LeBlanc? No, no, I'm giving him the money this time. <laughs> Mr. Benny, let us resume the lesson. Go ahead, play. The Blue Daniel? No, no, the exercises. Go ahead. Hello. No, no, no. Not so jazzy. Monsieur. Monsieur. Mr. Benny. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something wrong, Professor? No, no, nothing is wrong. 
Only the lesson she is fini. Pay me. Okay, Professor. I'll have to go down in my vault and get the money. <laughs> and please don't keep me waiting like you did the last time. I won't. I won't. Oh, Professor, would you please answer the door? The chain. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll answer it. Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, hello, Dennis. Come on in. Say, Dennis, I was going to call you. I heard your program Thursday night, and I, I thought you were swell. Gee, thanks. And I heard you on Phil Baker's quiz program last week. You did, kid? Really? Yeah. Boy, were you stupid. <laughs> Dennis, the questions on, on Phil Baker's program were very difficult. Anyway, I answered all but the last one. You sure fool a lot of people. Why? You don't look stupid. <laughs> Damn it. How you ever got to be my boss, I'll never know. Look, kid, besides starting an argument, what did you come over here for anyway? Well, you always want to hear my song before I do it on the program. Well, all right, let's hear it. Okay. Why don't he stay home instead of going on quiz program? Damn it! Now, go ahead and sing your song. No wonder my hair is gray. That was all right, Dennis. That song will do for the program. How about some lunch? You can eat when you get home. <laughs> now, Dennis... Mr. Benny, please. I am waiting for my money. Oh, yes. Yes, I I'm sorry. Uh, Dennis, uh, this is Professor LeBlanc, my violin teacher. He's your violin teacher? Please, please. Mm, not so loud. I'm trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> what? That's why I come in overalls, so people will think I am the plumber. <laughs> oh, Professor, don't be so temperamental. I'll go and get you your money. La, 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 la. Plink, plink. Plink, plink. La, 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 la. I do not. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello, Jack. I'm here. Mary, where are you? Right in front of you. Oh, well, brush off the fog and let me see you. <laughs> Come on in. Gee, I'm glad to see you, Mary. When did you get back from Palm Springs? I just drove in just this minute. Well, welcome home. Come here. Let me kiss you. Oh, Jack. I can't help it, Mary. I haven't seen you for two whole weeks. Jack. Now, don't try to pull away. <laughs> Jack, please, you're getting my ring all wet. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Gee, I'm happy you're back. Come on, Mary. Let me carry you into the house. Oh, Jack, stop being silly. I'm not being silly. I just want to carry you in. I haven't seen you in so long. Come on, let me carry you in. Up the daisy. <clears throat> Shall we walk? <laughs> Mary, have you gained weight? One pound. I thought so. <laughs> Oh, Rochester, Rochester! Yes, boy! Rochester, hang up, Miss Livingston. Oh, hello, Miss Livingston! Hello, Rochester. Welcome home, Miss Livingston, welcome home. The old plantation hasn't been the same since the day you went away. Plantation? Now that you're back, we'll be sitting around the old cabin door, a singing and a strumming, the old banjos in the moonlight. Banjo? And as the sun sets on the cotton fields, there'll be joy in the hearts as we gather beneath the old magnolia. <laughs> Rochester, put down that mint julep and take her coat. Yes, Colonel, sir. <laughs> What's the matter with Rochester? He found some wild mint in the backyard and tamed it. <laughs> well, tell me, Mary, did you have a real good time in Palm Springs? Oh, I sure did, Jack. Did you miss me? Gee, the first day I got there, Gregory Peck took me out to dinner. And the next morning, I went swimming with Van Johnson. Did you miss me? That same afternoon, I played golf with Clark Gable. And last Saturday, Robert Taylor and I went horseback riding. Did you miss me? All day Monday, I was on a picnic with Gary Cooper. And that night, I went dancing with Jerome Power. Mary, did you miss me? Well, of course I missed you. Oh. 
You know, I always hate to be away from you, Jack. Jack, uh, what's the last name again, Bob? <laughs> Spiegelmeyer. <laughs> Cosmo Spiegelmeyer. <laughs> And you don't split. And listen, and you don't have to be so smart. You know, when you were gone, I wasn't exactly sitting home knitting. Oh, no? Where'd you get that sweater? <laughs> I finished that before you even left. Thought you had me there, didn't you? Come on in the other room and tell me all Hey, about... Mr. Benny, now that you've heard my song, can I... Oh, hello, Dennis. Mr. Benny, now that you've yeah. heard my song, can Dennis. I... Dennis. Mary said hello to you. Why don't you answer? I'm mad at her. <laughs> Mad at me? Why? Oh, because last week when he came on the program, he said hello to you and you didn't answer him. Oh, but that's silly, Dennis. When you said hello to me, you were here and I was in Palm Springs, so I couldn't answer you. Did you see anybody in Palm Springs you knew? Yes, a lot of people. Did they say hello to you? Well, certainly. Did you answer them? Of course. Well, I'm as good as they are. <laughs> Look, Dennis. Wait a minute, Jack. I'll fix this up right now. Come here, Dennis. I'm going to give you a kiss. Come here. There. Now, Dennis, are you still mad at me? You're just after my money. <laughs> what? Well, who cares about money? <laughs> Dennis, I don't know what's come over you lately. Every time... I'll get it, boss. Okay. Mr. Bentley's residence, star of stage, screen, radio, and we'll start delivering the Herald Express again tomorrow. <laughs> Who's calling, please? This is Phil Harris, star of stage, screen, radio, and associate editor of the Hobo News. <laughs> Come on, Jester, let me talk to Mr. Benny. Okay. It's for you, boss. It's Mr. Harris. Thanks. Hello, Phil. What do you want? Look, Jackson, when I got my own program, you and I made a little deal, didn't we? Yes. Well, I sent you the bottles of Fit Shampoo. Where are my Lucky Strikes? <laughs> well, Phil, the reason I didn't send you the Lucky Strikes is because you promised me 12 bottles of Fit Shampoo and you only sent me eight. I sent you 12. You sent me eight. I sent you 12, one for each hair. <laughs> well, ne next week, make it 13. I'm expecting. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, Phil, I'll send you the six cartons of Lucky Strikes tomorrow. Our deal was for ten cartons. Ten? Hello? 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 Hello, Jack. No, this is Phil. This is Jack. Who are you? Don Wilson. Oh, hello, Don. Are you at Phil's house? No, I'm home. I dialed your number and got cut in. Oh, well, look, look, Don. Hey, how about my Lucky Strikes? They're so round, so firm, so fully... Don, packed. wait a minute. Don, Phil's talking to me. I'm talking to who? To me. Hello? 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 <laughs> hello? Hello? Four pounds delivered to the back door. Four pounds of lucky strikes? I'm coming to the butcher. Rochester, where are you? I'm on the extension in the kitchen. Well, Rochester, hang up. I'm talking to Phil. What about me? Don, get off the phone. <laughs> where did they come from? Hello. Hello. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> hmm. You know, Mary, the most peculiar... <laughs> Hello? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't understand. Mr. Benny, please. I am waiting for my money. <laughs> in, a, in a minute, Professor. In a minute. Jack, why don't you give Professor LeBlanc his money? I'm going down to the vault to get it. Well, I'll lend it to you. Here. All I have is a $20 bill. Well, I haven't got change. Maybe I can help. I've got an $18 bill. <laughs> an $18 bill? I know, but I'm not going to tell the jerk. That's right. Don't tell him. Now, Professor, I'll get your money. Let's see. How much do I owe you? I didn't pay you for the last lesson and the one before that. And, uh... Three before that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Altogether, I think it comes to about... Je 
87 lessons. Professor, I'm sure I owe you for six. No, no, I am positive it is seven. I only weigh 110 pounds. 110 pounds? What's that got to do with it? The last time you paid me, I weighed 180 pounds, and I lose 10 pounds a lesson. <laughs> okay, Professor. You are going to get the money and pay me? No, he's going to get the scales and weigh you. <laughs> I am not. I'm going to the ball. goes there? Friend or foe? <laughs> Friend. Oh, it's you, Mr. Benny. Yes. Well, well, nice to see you again. How are things on the outside? Fine, fine. It's winter now, you know. <laughs> and by the way, we recently had an election and the Republicans won in nearly all the 48 states. We have 48 of them now. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's 1912. Ed, light a candle for me, will you, so I can see what I'm doing? Ed, I asked you to light a candle. I'm looking for the flint. Oh, we... We have matches now, you know? Here. I'll hold it up a little. Say... What's the matter? Up there in the corner, what's that hole in the wall? Did somebody try to break into my vault? Oh, no, Mr. Benny. That happened when I first came down here. It did? Yes. Some man was digging a tunnel and got in here by mistake. Gee, that's funny. I wonder who it was. Well, I don't know, but he mumbled something about being Monte Cristo. <laughs> well, I better open the safe now. Now, let's see. The combination is right to 45. Left to 60. Back to 15. Then left to 110. There. A week. I guess Rochester must be running my mix master. Now let's see there. I guess that'll be enough money. Well, so long, Ed. See you in the spring. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Hmm. John L. Lewis ever hears about Ed, I'm sunk. <laughs> well, here's your money, Professor LeBlanc. Thank you very much, Monsieur Benny. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, Monsieur. Oh, oh, I forgot to unchain you. <laughs> Here, I'll unlock it. There. Thank you. You are so kind. Liberty! Freedom! <laughs> Dennis! Hmm, I guess they went home. Well, I think I'll go in and practice a little more before dinner. Rochester, see who that is. Yes, sir. Oh, boss, it's Mr. Phil Baker. Phil Baker? What does he want? Hello, Jack. <laughs> Phil, what are you doing here? Jack, I have to stay in California longer than I thought, and I've been having an awful time trying to find an apartment. Well, isn't that too bad? <laughs> What's the matter, Jack? The way you treated me on your program, you expect me to give you a room? How would you like to sleep on an old park bench? I don't care how you've got it furnished. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not going to get it. Jack, you've got no reason to get sore at me. If you had answered the last question on my program correctly, I would have given you the $64. But that was just that was such a tough question. Nobody could answer it. I'll bet that... Hey, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. I did answer that correctly, and you owe me $64. You did not answer it correctly. I didn't, eh? Ask me the same question again. Go ahead. Go ahead, Baker. Ask me. Okay. Paderewski was one of 50 contestants in the musical contest. Uh Uh-huh. And Paderewski was the winner. Go on. Go on. Now, my question was, can you name the 49 losers? That's right, that's right. And what did I say? You said, no, I can't. That's the correct answer. I can't name them and give me the $64. Now, come on, come on, give me the dough. Okay. Here. Thanks. Now, Phil, in in television, that would have been good. Now, Phil, I got a little practicing to do, so I'll see you again sometime. But, Jack, I'm really up against it. I haven't got a place to live. Can't you help a pal out with a room? Well, let's see. Hey, I've got an idea. You can sleep in the... No, Ed likes to be alone. (laughs) I'm sorry, Phil, I have no vacancy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to finish practicing. I don't need a room that's classy Or last week I slept with Lassie Phil, please, I'm trying to practice And stop scratching yourself <laughs> Well, Jack, let me practice with you on my accordion Your accordion? Phil, do you, do you, always, do you always carry that with you? Sure And say, Jackson What? Right. The left side of Vine Street is hot this week <laughs> You know, the Christmas spirit and everything? Oh, yes, yes, my agent told me. Yeah. <laughs> now, Phil, will you please let me practice? Okay, go ahead. Phil! Phil, please let me practice. Oh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, many communities are still collecting food to help save the lives of millions of men, women, and children in Europe who are starving. We here in America are the best-fed nation in the world, and we are asked to make a voluntary sacrifice for those unfortunate people. All Americans should understand that this is not charity, not a gift. Every ounce of wheat and fats, every ounce... by Mel Blanc. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting...